What up, what up? We are here in a new area, or a different area, called Santon. Santon. First time here, so we're gonna explore it together. And real quick, uh, well, I'm just gonna walk, and I really don't know exactly where I'm walking again. My first time, so we're just gonna roam around a little bit, and I'll show you some of the, the scenery. I think there's the Santon City, I'm guessing that's the mall in Santon. Santon, Santon. And then uh, we're gonna walk past that, maybe hit up a square and check everything out. But one thing I wanna say is they have Uber here and they may do this in other regions. Like for example, they may do this in the US. It may not be as common because most people use bank cards to pay. But here, first time I experienced this, when you pay in cash, and let's say the driver doesn't have change, they're able to credit you give you credit in the app. So if the ride costs 50 and you're paying with 100, right? And they don't they don't have change, they can input that into uh, Uber and you'll have uh, your change, which is 50, as credit in the app. Hope that makes sense. First time seeing that. Maybe, you know, maybe other countries, they had the option, just the drivers prefer not to use it or maybe they don't know about it, I don't know, but that was pretty, uh, pretty interesting to experience. So now, um because here you don't have to pay in cash at all you know but I, that's still a habit for me paying with it paying in cash hold on let me cross the street i'm over here am i able to cross right now that's a red sign but she's pulling up let me uh let me just wait but here we go all right there we go there goes a the green sign Definitely uh, feels like a commercial center. And one thing you gotta be careful, man, they drive on the other side of the road. So I just find myself looking the other way. Or look, there we go. Maybe it's a commercial center. Don't know if I'm able to film inside haven't really have any problems I don't think I can go inside so I'm gonna go around we're gonna go around but here goes the center I'm sure you have all the uh, international brands in there all the bougie brands or bourgeois in there I'm gonna go this way though you don't know where you're Talked about this earlier, how they have load shedding. To me, a fancier word of uh, blackouts or when they shut off the the power for a certain amount of time. And, uh, but obviously every area is gonna be affected differently. And from what I heard, Santon, it doesn't happen here. If you, if you live in this area, let me know, but yeah, the blackouts or the load shedding, as they call it, refer to it. Probably doesn't happen as much here for it does places here have uh, generators and things of that nature i know some people may say uh man johannesburg south africa feels just like you know some another place in the u.s or or whatever hold on let's see something so yeah we just, as i said we just came here for work but besides we know there's like uh, nightlife mm -hmm. and there's so many clubs that you can actually hang around uh there's a lot of things you can actually explore. We just haven't got a time to actually do it all. Mm -hmm. But I believe there is a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Simple work. Nothing much. Mm -hmm. But it is yeah. a nice place. It is a nice place. Well, you, you brought up nightlife. So where do you ladies like to go and, and hang out? And We actually hang out at Mabone because that's where we live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we live in So that's where it gets down to you. Mm, Ma 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 oh, Ma Oh, Ma Bo Yeah. Okay, that's where I need that's to go. Johannesburg. Okay. Yeah, so that's where we actually party whenever we have fun, just get the most. And one last question: Is safe for foreigners, for tourists? Ma yes, Boeng? Yes, there 
because a lot of foreigners actually party there. It's like it's a, it, there's clubs. It's like Sensen in a way. Mm -hmm. So there's clubs. So foreigners can always go there party. So you wouldn't be feeling intimidated or scared in any way because they are. I think they really accommodated. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Ma Boang, that's the, uh, everyone recommends that place. Let me uh, see if I can cross the street, hold on. So anybody coming to South Africa, you like the, uh, from what I gather, the finer things in life? Oh shit, the finer things in life? Then uh, Santon probably be the spot. Sun shining on the camera. The image may be uh, a little darker than usual. I apologize. Let's walk up this way. Street stalls, oh, I love them. My favorite. Street food, oh, I love it. That's why I can't wait to get the get to Asia, Vietnam and Thailand. My favorite cuisine, Vietnamese and Thai will be second. Third was Indian, but I think Peru took the, the number three spot. So Vietnamese, Thai, Peruvian. Oh man, these, some people can't drive out here. I'm gonna tell you that right now. All right, Nelson Mandela Square. Nelson Mandela, very popular here. Let's see if we can walk straight. Yeah, huge commercial center. I'm not gonna walk inside any of them. floor we gotta head to oh this is going up hold on all right i think i know what they were talking about it wasn't outside it was over here so that's what we're about to do check this area out Right, here we go. I'm guessing this is Nelson Mandela, the man right here. Let me uh, get on the other side. All right, yeah, this is, there we go. Now this is Nelson Mandela Square. Okay, then you got the restaurants up there. Cafes and eateries. Sculptures. Huge restaurant over here, Hard Rock, Hard Rock Cafe over there. Let's uh, let's walk inside. So far, uh, haven't really had any problems. But they got security over here. Right, for all the bougie, bougie folks out there, here you go. I think we're in the food court area. Oh, we'll just keep going straight. Upstairs. Nelson Mandela again, beloved man out here in South Africa. If you read about the, the history of this country, you'll understand why. 
Gandhi was out here in South Africa and Gandhi is beloved and, and revered in India. I'll say, oh wait, never mind, hold on. Left side, strong side. Hmm. Here he goes again, Nelson Mandela and his wife. Uh, I know he had three wives, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm guessing that's the, the last one. Upstairs, but we're gonna head out. Yeah, so far filming in the malls. I went to another mall, Central Center, Carl Carlton Center, or something. It was in the downtown area, and uh, they weren't really tripping. And so far, uh, they're not tripping in here as well, or either. Uh, we always go with the left side, strong side, so let's do that. I'm gonna keep the camera straight, see any shops you like, right side, left side. I can't film both sides. Hopefully uh, the screen is capturing everything. Store right over here. So I'll go this way, cut through here. Uh, we'll go right side. Nope. Left side, strong side. Yeah. NTN, you can get cellular service with them. I got, I went with Vodacom, Vodacom. Like 36 bucks for 10 gigs of internet. And MTM. At least at the airport, it was a similar price. A little cheaper. So I just thought I'd go with Vodacom. All right. I don't want to speak too soon, but I would say that so far, uh, the most camera friendly place I've been to has been Johannesburg. The malls, no one's tripping so far on the streets. People are very friendly. The interviews. I thought uh, I thought it would be very difficult here on the in the continent. Started off pretty difficult. But so far, uh, you know, every country is different. So, you know, every country, some countries are not really with the cameras. Some are. I'll say this one as far as this city it might be different in other cities. But so far in, in this city, been very uh, camera friendly. So I enjoy that. There were certain videos I wanted to do, or I, at least I tried to do in other places, but uh, wasn't, wasn't able to. So I had to scratch those. Go left side.
head over here. Woo! Head out. I was gonna make a first impressions video. I'm not gonna do that. So let me just throw a couple of the couple of those out right now. Definitely feels like uh, if anybody's been to Sao Paulo, Brazil, the vibe here feels just like Sao Paulo. You know, Sao Paulo's a financial hub, South America. Johannesburg, I would say, is one of the. I don't know if it's the, but I know it's one of the financial hubs. Well, it's definitely the financial hub in Southern Africa, the Southern half. But but I'm sure it's one of them in in on the continent definitely so that was one also uh forgot the rest we'll talk about it another time but definitely feels like sao paulo brazil oh let me squeeze through this one we'll hit i figure out the exit Where's the exit? We go this way. I think we go this way. I think we go out here. It's the main exit. 